We're with John Elridge. He wrote a book called Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence, and Authority. We're in Colorado Springs. So today, John, I want to talk about guidance. Now, most Christians say, yeah, I want to be led by the Holy Spirit, but often in reality, we led by ourselves. Yeah. And as our Bible teacher, Robbie Simon, says, hey, God, I got this one, yeah. you know, applying to most Christians. Yeah. How do we get out of that? How do we actually be led by the Lord? Yeah, okay. So again, here's where most Christians get discouraged. They wait to ask for guidance until it's epic, right? Should I quit my job? Should we sell our house? Do we move overseas? You know, guys, guys, you've got to be kinder to yourself than that. Asking the Lord for guidance, like any other form of prayer, is something that we learn and grow into. We're learning to listen to His voice. We're learning to yield and to surrender. And that's one of the reasons I love prayer for guidance, because I know what's going on inside of me. Can I buy the motorcycle? Right? Yeah. And the truth is, I can't hear yes, because I can't hear no. I don't want to mm -hmm. hear God's will in that. I know what I want to do. Surrender. Wow. Okay. Surrender is one of the keys to beginning to really hear what God is saying to you about your life. I let this go. Lord, I don't need to quit my job. I don't need to move to a bigger house. I don't need that new car. What are you saying, Lord? So what does that look like when you're surrendering? Do you, okay, Lord, I surrender this to you, but you really want that motorcycle or you really want to do that trip. Is it just words and then it does actually become our heart's cry? Yeah, over time, but also you know where your heart's at, gang. And in, and in the core of my heart, I have to start with, Father, you love me. Father, you're good. John 10, 10. I've come that you may have life. You want life for me, God, and you want it abundantly. So I trust your goodness. Now, what's your will for me? And, and what, what we'll often find helpful is, is praying, let there be light. It's the very first command of Scripture. Let there be light. God, shine your light into this situation. Show us what we're supposed to do. And then, gang, give it a little space. Don't expect God to answer in 15 seconds, right? Give it a couple days. Give it a couple weeks if you, if you possibly can. The more space you allow your own soul, the better chance you're going to be able to hear from God on that. John, we want to get this book into people's hands because it's very practical. I mean, prayer is one of those things that it's complicated, it seems, and it's simple. And John's book, Moving Mountains, will help you to understand, you know, what prayer looks like, how you hear the voice of the Lord, how you get guidance. And with your best ministry gift, we'll get this book into your hands, 1-800-265-3100. Go online, crossroads.ca slash donate. Sometimes prayers are answered, and sometimes they're not. When they aren't, we often lose heart. New York Times best-selling author John Eldridge tackles one of the most familiar aspects of daily life for Christians, prayer. Well, thank you, John, for making your book, Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence, and Authority. Uh, to our partners, this is a must-read, in my opinion. Thanks, Greg. It's my pleasure to partner with Crossroads and Huntley Street because too many good people have given up on prayer. I think the reason is this. We've looked at prayer like this. God is powerful. I asked, and He didn't do anything. But to be honest, that's a very naive view of prayer. In Moving Mountains, I want to teach you a more mature and confident and hopeful view of prayer. I talk about prayers of consecration, how to learn listening prayer, how healing prayer works, how spiritual warfare prayer works. Really, this book will change your life. I hope you'll get a copy. If your prayers don't seem to be working, it might be time for a tune-up. Call now with your best ministry gift and we'll give you a copy of this book as our thank you. Call 1-800-265-3100 or make your donation at crossroads.ca.